OK, lads, when I say stop, you stop boxing. When I say break, take a step back. Keep your hands up and protect yourself at all times. Good luck to you both. Good luck. So, Carol Itama, the 22-year-old from Chatham in Kent, is back on a Tyson Fury undercard, and like Royston Barney-Smith, who we've just seen, is talented and unbeaten. And uh, tonight steps up to eight rounds for the Second first down. time, Richie, to fight the Slovakian based in Ireland, Vladimir Beluski. Carol Itama, he's done everything right up to now, Flex boxed very well indeed um, with the victories that he's had, and it's the way he does it behind that jab, sets his opponents up very well indeed. This guy has won more than he's lost, you know, and he will be a, a more of a danger. But but the way Carol Atamra started off again behind that jab, setting up his attacks very well indeed. And he's a difficult man to get to because of his skill. Already a slight reddening around the left eye of Belusky with that ramrod right jab, piercing the guard already on more than one occasion. Such a good punch for Atamra. Final few seconds of the opening round. This one scheduled for eight, the first time that Carolee Town has fought an eight-rounder. Most of his work has been behind that very accurate right-hand jab. Good work um, with the jab from Atoma. Carolee Town is a light heavyweight who carries plenty of power. Heavy shots. All of it set up by that right jab. Lovely work. Continues to find the target, the head of Vladimir Belusky with the jab. It's a sickening shot as well. When you they start to accumulate, you really do start to feel the full weight of them, and it sets up everything else for him. Yeah, that was a good shot there, just. He just caught Belusky as he was coming forward. Just changed the angle a little bit, and sort of a long right hook, if anything. But that, I mean, this is excellent stuff, because you are gradually breaking the opponent down. You're breaking him down physically and mentally also. And at the moment, this is a, a good display from, from Itoma. And it will be interesting to see how long Belusky can keep going, taking shots like this. I think he's getting weaker and weaker, Fletch. A little buckle of the legs there, he's slightly off balance as well, this Slovakian. The shots from Itama have been accurate and heavy. It's been a very methodical display so far, hasn't it? Yes, I mean, the, the job's made it a lot easier for Itama because there's not a lot of head movement from Belusky, and his feet are fairly slow, aren't they? Very slow indeed. You know, he's obviously a, a tough nut to crack, but at the moment, he's been dismantled here. It's so a really good left hand, whipped it up yeah. the right jab, Richard. Yeah, that's good work, that is, you know, going to the head with the jab, then the body, and then he, he whipped that left hand over also. So he's just setting up, he's starting to really enjoy it now and get into a, a rhythm, um, Itoma. Jab continues to land with power and authority, regularity at the end of the third. Hardly anything, that's a super counter punch, it really is. Just adjusting the feet, sensing the danger, and then bringing him onto that shot. That was a cracker. Hardly missed tonight when he's thrown shots like that, been really accurate in Talbot. One of those punches that just made Belusky change direction. He was trying to come forward, but he was sent backwards by the weight of that one. Maybe Flex now, Carol Atama. Occasionally, he step, uh, slip down to the body, hurt this man downstairs. He's obviously a tough guy and he's took all these headshots. Test him downstairs. A good flurry there from Carol Atama, right at the bell. Yeah, in and out here, Atama. Lovely jab there. Just misses with the left hand, but just see how he then just moves away, so he's got that instinct of, of moving away from his opponents, away from danger. Good shot there from him on the outside. This is right at the end of the round, so good head movement. The message was quite clear between rounds from Carol Itama's corner, Dan Woolwich wants him to continue to go through the gears. 
This looks like a fella as well that might just take him all the way. Indeed. That's better boxing there. That's the best jab of the contest for Beluski there. A rare shot with that lead hand. So if that's lovely stuff again, making the opponent miss and then going back with a couple of shots. The point you made in the previous round, Richie, went to the body first there, which set up the attack towards the head of Beluski. That's a really good body shot, dug it around the elbow by Itauma. Now he's just increasing a little bit here, isn't he, now, Itauma? See if he can just step it up a little bit here. There's that body shot, we spoke about it earlier, test Beluski downstairs. But better boxing again from Itauma. Two great right-hand champs again. Just edging forward Itauma with that front foot. Getting closer, and he measures the distance with that jab to set up that backhand. In the previous round, you just had the impression and got the feeling that he was just going to up the pace a little bit, went through the gears, got into a rhythm, and now it's better, landing better shots here. Yeah, good shots on the ropes, Beluski had to take a couple of powerful punches there from Itama. Looks like he's got the appetite to go through the gears a little bit now. Just heard the corner say underneath him now. They think a couple of body shots could really weaken him. But again, he's just sensing that his opponent's weakening. He's just up the pace a little bit again, Itama. Oh, good lovely shot. shot. Really good shot. What a clever punch that was. Just adjusting his feet and brought him onto that. Oh, better stuff. Well, then now, Beluski. And the left hand has it down. There was a more solid shot before that one that was pretty much a glancing blow. But finally, the Slovakian is on the canvas. And he is going to be allowed to get back into it here. But as he went through the gears there, Karoli Tauma, Beluski for the first time tonight really started to unravel. There's still 25 seconds to go in the penultimate round, the seventh of eight. And Karoli Tauma now can sense victory in there. Yeah, this is where you've just got to find that bit of space, Fletch, when they're up close. Take that half a step back and just to increase the distance. Again, big shots going in from Atama. He's in survival mode now, Beluski hanging on. Desperately trying to slow down the attacks of Itauma. And he does get to hear the bell. And he needed tremendous amounts of bravery there, Richie, to see that round through. Yes, indeed. Let's have a look at this. Just adjusted his feet. There's that short little right hook. That started the ball rolling. And then Atama comes in. That's a chopping shot, that was. And then that right hand there. So there he's all over the place, goes down. Great attack there, but that little shot there, that's a belting punch, it really is. Well timed, and that started things off. Atama sensed it and then catches him with this left hand right at the end of the sequence. So a good round for Atama. Can he get the stoppage in that last round? But that was super stuff there. Cheered on at ringside by his brother, Enrico. 10 seconds. <laughs> But a timer again on the attack, wants that stoppage. Remember, only one man has been able to stop Vladimir Beluski. Karoli Tauma is doing his best to try and become the second. Yeah, the good body shot went in there, Fletch just above us. And another one there, right up to the body, yeah, he's unravelling again. Continues to show tremendous guts and determination, Moses Slovakia. He's a tough guy, he's earned his money tonight, this fella. Beluski, oh, a shot, shot. Yeah. and he stopped it. Lee is seen enough. And it was that left hand that was solid, accurate, full of power. And Karol Itama gets the stoppage in the eighth round. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, 18 seconds of round number eight. Our referee, Lee Every, stops the contest. Therefore, your winner by way of technical knockout and still undefeated, Carol Itauma.